Hey guys, um, Renee here. If you're watching this video, you are either a UCIT engineering student, you want to be a UCIT engineering student, or you're just really lost. But today, we're going to do four tips on how to pet properly. So these are just tips I've picked up from people who have found pretty good ways to um, make pep easy for them. So let's just get straight into it. The first thing is to plan ahead when you're doing pep. So what I do every, like every change of the month is to think about what kind of pep activities will be coming up the next month. So let's say that there's a seminar planned for the 12th of July and the 18th of July. Just chuck that in the calendar and I don't have to remember it until it gets to that date and I just hop on the webinar and take a few notes and then after that write up about it. Tip 2 is to break your claims up into multiple competencies and then chuck it into separate claims. And I know this is kind of like a duh thing to do but what I do is that if like I have a 10 hour claim for a society that I think is um, pretty good to claim for, like to claim two competencies for, then I'll use the first paragraph twice. So that saves me writing time on that paragraph. Even better if you can split like a 20 hour claim up into five hour claims, like four or five hour claims. You can use that first paragraph like four times because you did exactly the same thing in all circumstances, but you just change what you learn. Um, so the second, third, and fourth paragraphs will change. You'll have to write like separate sort of sub-reflections for that. But it'll be much easier once you know like what the first paragraph is gonna be anyway. So so you know how we have like a bunch of um, competencies we have to claim for? Usually just take that list out once a month and see which competencies still need to be filled up and write the essays to target that specific competency. Tip 3 is to choose um, pep activities that you're already learning or you're already interested in. I made the horrible choice of trying to do pep activities that I wasn't interested in just because I wanted those um, pep hours. So I'm very bad at um, socializing but I went to like one or two networking nights when I was in my first year. I didn't really learn much and like I was so exhausted by the end of it that I completely forgot to write up my um, claims and they're still unclaimed at this point. It just wasn't something that I was passionate about. It sort of wasted my time in the pep sense, like I made a couple friends but that's a completely different issue. But yeah, so let's say you're already trying to um, catch up on your MATLAB and like going through a YouTube MATLAB course, you do four hours of that YouTube course, you can write up to like five or six hours um, for your pep because you've done that on top of doing your homework. So you can add on the course hours to your homework hours and then that makes like four plus two six hours of pep. If you've learned something and the hours fit, they can't say no unless you've claimed like a 15 hour block for a five hour course. Obviously that's not gonna work. There are a bunch of stuff online to bulk up your engineering hours like as I said coding courses, personal coding projects, online seminars, the hours you spend applying to internships and like talking to recruiters or just talking to people in your industry that you think will be pretty helpful. Or it also could be anything you're interested in. I've claimed probably 15-16 hours for YouTube. Um, I should be claiming a bit more but I just got tired of writing essays after I passed the 80 hour PEP 1 mark so I'll just keep it for the next PEP I guess. But for you, that could be running a food business or your own blog. Even if you freelance as an artist in your spare time, you could claim that. And for the final tip is to review with grace. I've had reflection reviews that have been absolutely horrible. Like I, I look at it and I'm like, where are you getting all this negative things to say from? I don't like people um, dissing anything just because like their word count isn't enough. If you can be concise, I feel like it, it, it should be concise. If you're doing a 5 hour claim and you've honed down the specifics of what you've learned, 
I think that you don't need to bulk up to 600 words to cover a 5 hour essay just because pep demands that you do. I would like to foster a less draconian culture for pep overall. Most people give you pretty fair reviews and I do the same for people. Like if it's, if I think they've put effort into it, I'll just give it a pass basically. Overall, like if you're kind of others, other people will theoretically be kind back, but it won't work until everyone sort of chips in a bit. So that's it for this video. I hope I've been clear enough on the points. I hope you took something away from this video. See you next week.